Sherry, around this time, folks would be crowded here at Smoking Hot Grill. Now, that isn't happening because three of their employees have been in contact with someone who tested positive for COVID and now they are home quarantining. Our customers have become our family and we want to do whatever we have to do, no matter what kind of financial burden it might put us in, but to keep everybody safe. That something? It's closed the doors at Smoking Hot Sports Grill until August 24th. It is a very hard choice to make um, because not only do we lose the revenue, we have food that will go to waste. We have our employees, and our staff that we're going to do everything we can to make sure that they're covered. A number of businesses across the country now require employees to get vaccinated to prevent situations like this from happening. But a private business in Alabama making vaccinations mandatory is their right. They are using it as a way to say that um, it's, it leads to the safety of the other employees. Jaquise Gary, employee and labor attorney, says not only could you lose your job, but you could be disqualified for unemployment benefits. When you receive unemployment, it's because you lost your job due to no fault of your own. If you fail to get the vac if you fail to get the vaccination, and it's a condition that the employer has put in place. If you are terminated because of it, the record will show that you um, endangered the lives of someone else. In Bessemer, restaurant owners Mike and Wendy Walton say they are still on the fence about making it mandatory. That that would be kind of us making the decision for them. Yeah. So we're going to let let them make their own decisions. Yeah. As tough as it will be, we will we will get through it. Walton tells me if an outbreak continues inside their establishment, they will move back into their food truck and work with the amount of employees that they have. For now, we're live in Bessemer. Xavier Harris, WVTM 13.